for the water because the water is sick and it's it's contaminated and we, we basically just do the water ceremony to um pray for it for hopefully one day that they um that the water's clean My name is Autumn Pelche. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Wukwumakong on Manitoulin Island. 
which is in northern Ontario, in Canada. I would like to start by sharing that the work I do is in honor of my great Auntie Vidasageba. If I weren't, if it weren't for her lifetime commitment and sacrifices to create the awareness and the sacredness of water, I would not be standing here today. She inspired me to do this work as she was an elder when she began. I thought about who would keep doing her work one day. I just didn't expect that day would come as soon as it did. She created the Mother Earth Water Walks. She walked around all the Great Lakes more than once. She did this because the elders began to see changes in the lands, medicine, animals, and waters. I visited a northern community called Attawapiskat, which is located on the James Bay, and I spoke to kids, and they shared their concerns and what it was like for them. No child should have to experience not knowing what it's like, what clean wa running water is. This makes me upset. This is why I'm here today. I've been raised in a traditional way, and knowing my territory and the waters around my country and the issues my people face. I've heard of places like Flint, Michigan, Six Nations in the, of the Grand River, all across these lands, we, we know somewhere where someone can't drink the water. Why so many and why have they gone without water so long? Growing up and understanding how everything is connected to water and how vital our waterways are, are is amazing in itself. My people still live off the land, we eat wild game, 
We harvest medicines from the lands. Our, waters, our waterways are vital in giving millions clean drinking water. All water is original from time immemorial. To think our ancestors drank from the same water thousands of years before us, water evaporates and can turn into mist, fog, rain, clouds, and snow. Water can go, go and be anywhere. We are constantly surrounded by water. 
Water not only surrounds us, but my teaching is that water hears us, feels us, and listens to us. When you pray to the water, our prayers are that much stronger. There are scientific studies that talk about water having spirit and feeling positive and negative thoughts. I shared my thoughts with our Prime Minister and he promised me in 2016 he, will, he would look after the water and as a youth I will hold him or any future leader to the promise for my people.
why can't we go back to our ways? I'm sure everyone in this room has, has heard a story from their grandparents of how hard they worked and how they lived. I know I hear it when I listen to the elders. They share stories for a reason, as they are our teachers. Maybe we need to have more elders and youth together sitting at the decision table when people make decisions about our lands and waters. I said it once, and I'll say it again. We can't eat money or drink oil. One solution that resonates with me is a story my grandfather shared with me. My grandfather is going to be 74. He told me when he was a little boy, there was no plastic. There was no such thing as a straw or a saran wrap or a Ziploc bags. There was no foil, no disposable, no dispo, disposable plastic existed. He said they preserved everything. They stored food in the ground in cellars, used salt and blocks of ice. He said everything was good. Everything was wood or glass. They rescued everything they could because they had no choice. So why can't we ban all plastics and go back to the old way and work for our daily living? That's an inexpensive solution by trying to be more environmentally friendly and do the work.
We need to protect the habitants around all waters across the world. We need to remember that our ancestors' prayers are still protecting this land and that we are ancestors' hope. One day I will be an ancestor and I want my descendants to know I use my voice so they can have a future. We need to join forces with all nations, regardless of color and nationality. Mother Earth does not, does not discriminate, and we need Mother Earth to live, and we need the waters. When we stand together as one, we are one voice and one nation. And to save our planet, let's do this for our great-grandchildren. Thank you. Miigwech.
speak for the water. We go out and pray for the water because the water is sick and it's, it's contaminated. And we just do the water ceremony to pray for it for hopefully one day that the water's clean. My auntie Josephine always taught me about water and the importance, and she inspired me to do um, the work I'm doing today. I said, I'm very unhappy with the choices you've made. And he said, I understand that. And then I started crying. And all I got to say after that was the pipelines. <laughs> and then he said, I will protect the water. People are awarding me for, oh, you're, make, you're doing such a great job, but I don't want your awards. I, if you're gonna award me, award me with helping me find solutions. Award me with helping me make change. Nobody or no community should have to live without clean drinking water because water is a basic human right and everyone deserves clean drinking water. Children in Northern Ontario communities right now still can't drink their water. Water is a basic human right. We, we all need to think about the planet and work together on solutions to reduce the impacts of human negligence. Mother Earth has the power to destroy us all, and if we keep harming her, one day she may decide to destroy everything.